I'm Madame Donut, and I own Donut Dynamite with my husband. I always loved donuts. My very first job was actually at Dunkin' Donuts when I was 15. I did not think I was going to be making donuts for the rest of my life after that. When I decided to start a donut business, I thought, we'll make brioche style donuts. Brioche is pretty much in the same family as croissants, which was my first baking project. It's actually called the rich man's bread in the pastry world. It's an enriched dough. It has a lot more eggs and butter than any other dough out there. It's also probably one of the more complicated doughs to make. It's very important that your main ingredient, the dough, is really, really good. Anything that you put on it is just literally a glaze on the donut. You bite into that dough, it's not cloyingly sweet, it has a good texture to it, a good pull, a good structure. It's not air, we're not selling air. It's not poofed up dough that when you pinch, there's nothing to it, that's why they're cheap. This, is, this has structure, this has flavor, this has body, and it has a lot of integrity. We make everything from scratch from the dough to our toppings. I even make my own handmade sprinkles because I don't like the waxy texture of most sprinkles that you get out there. I wanted it to be really as natural as can be. They're artisanal donuts, specialty donuts, you can call it whatever, gourmet donut. But to me, it's really just a creative expression of myself. Our doughs take about six to eight hours minimum for the initial fermentation. So I mix the dough and then basically let it sit in the refrigerator in the cool room. Meanwhile, while that's going on, we have all sorts of other projects like the toppings and such. We make all the glazes in-house. If we use some type of a fruit glaze, we use real fruit. For example, we have a strawberry rose donut. So we take local strawberries from Kula, we puree that and we don't even cook it so you have that fresh strawberry flavor. The mixing of one type of dough alone takes almost an hour, anywhere between 40 to 50 minutes. Just one dough. We have over 20 different kinds of brioche dough. For example, we have our donut called Heartbeat Red Velvet. So it's based on the red velvet, but every time I've made red velvet, whether it be a cupcake or a donut, you have to put so much food coloring to make it red. So I thought, why not use beets, red beets. So I puree the red beets and you get that red coloring naturally. And also beets are already sweet and have that early flavor that goes really well with chocolate, which is the base of a red velvet dough. We want the dough itself to have a lot of character, a lot of flavor, a lot of integrity and different. And in this case, I think the difference is what makes us the go-to for what donuts should be. We, we're creating donuts like nobody's ever had. It sounds corny, but I look at the donut as my canvas and I express my creativity through it, I express my story, even my life story on a donut. 